Hey guys, Poseidon here. Poseidon, <laughs> creator of Destiny. My latest animation that is about Songs of War. So, this is a bit of a behind the scenes about how the animation was made. I'll be going over, like, the animation, duh, <laughs> the editing, and a few other things that I thought would be interesting. So, if you guys want to know, like, what went into this and what, like, what sort of the first, sort of the, yeah, 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 my voice, and the sort of things that went into this, how it became a reality. I personally love watching behind the scenes content from other stuff, so I decided, I guess, someone else would like this, so I decided to make a behind the scenes of, of, um, oh, my, my mind went blank, jeez, of Destiny. So, um, here we have the thumbnail, um, I had it rendered. Uh, I don't know how to disable Discord notifications on this. Uh, I'll just I'm just gonna leave those there then. So we have the thumbnail is just Kiyoshi and Necrolord. So a thing about a thing about Kiyoshi. Um, this is the first time I've used the brand new rig that I made for Minimator which I released publicly recently, actually. Um, I decided to use... I think the rig looked pretty good on him, especially the eyes. I like the eyes that have a bit more detail. His weren't like that in an actual song, where they were just one solid color. But, yeah, this is nice. So... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and mute the server where I'm getting these notifications from, so I don't I don't receive those. All right, so now I'm gonna actually go into the basic premise of this animation. Um, so uh, first of all, I want to say this will obviously be spoilers for Songs of War season two. Um, the actual video is spoilers for Songs of Two. Songs of Two. Songs of Two. Songs of Two. The two songs. They're the songs of the two. Two of the four. Two of the four. <laughs> Pardon my failure of a voice. Um, so, um, <laughs> okay. I really need. I really need to. I really need to stop messing up here. This is like my fourth attempt at recording too. All right. So now I'm gonna explain to you the premise. Um, yeah. Spoilers for Songs of War season two. Um, I'm gonna have the link to the first season on YouTube, and then the script for season 2 and 3. I'll talk to the script for the whole thing. But, um, yeah. I'll just leave those in the description so you can read, or watch and read. And, um, you should also watch Destiny itself, the music video I made, before you watch this, otherwise a lot of it's not gonna make sense. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to explain what happens in the well, basically, the premise is that, and um, so in season two, episode eight, um, Flora is besieged by the Necromancers, who are the guys who started the war with the Kingdom of Felden. Who Captain Kiyoshi is the captain of the military of Felden or the Felden Guard. I don't know; it doesn't really matter. Um, he basically leads all the soldiers into battle. He leads the army. So. He has a bit of a rivalry with the Necromancers in the series. Um, in Season 2, Episode 8, he has, um, in in that episode, when they attack Flora, the capital of Felden, he um, defends the kingdom and has a final battle against the Necrolord, who is leader of the Necromancers. Um, yeah, there's also a big plot about the Necrolord that I won't mention yet, but I will mention it sometime in the video. It doesn't actually come up in Destiny at all, but yeah. So... This shows Kiyoshi's final battle against the Necromancers and the Necrolord. Not 100% script accurate. I decided to take some creative liberties. Um, you might be asking, but Poseidon... No, that's not the question, sorry. But, but Poseidon, um, Lucan is supposed to be in the scene, and Nika is supposed to be in the scene. Yeah, I know that, but like, I, it's just a lot of extra work and um, to have them, and all, figuring out a ton of stuff, and... As I'm a pretty novice animator, I really didn't want to have to go through all that, so I just wanted... And besides, the premise of the video is about Kiyoshi, it's not about Lucan, it's not about Nika. 
and I just wanted to try to limit this down to his side of the story and I hope you guys are okay with that so um, yeah big spoiler for what happens in Songs 4 season 2 my last warning uh, Kiyoshi uh, dies which is pretty sad because he was one of my favorites that's actually the reason why I made this because it's like a tribute of sorts so yeah that's about all I have for explaining the plot or explaining the story behind it then we should actually get into things so in order to get the map I had um so the map the map is the first thing I'm going to talk about so for the map I of course went to the songs of war Ardonia server and I imported a piece of the world from here thing is they never prepared a destroyed flora map or like a burning flora map or an under attack flora map because that was supposed to be in season two and I never actually got to making season two so I had to do that on my own basically what I did was I used TNT a few times and put a bunch of fire everywhere and that's flora burning we don't actually see much of the city in this animation so it doesn't really matter um, I just had to put a bunch of fire in the beacon zone which is where everything is um, you might be wondering why there's two Kiyoshis. Um, I just inserted another one for the thumbnail because um, I was just too lazy to <laughs> repose that whole, the, this guy here. So um, yeah, there's two Kiyoshis, or Kiyoshi has a twin brother. Um, <laughs> this is going to be an inside joke that only a few people are going to get. It's to get Kiyori. <laughs> okay, now... So yeah, I got the map from... So basically, I went into Minecraft, I put fire all over the place, and then I imported a piece of the world. Well, I made a copy of Songs of War server first. I didn't want to mess up the original one. I made a copy, then set fire to the flora and the copy, and imported the piece of flora into the world so that I could animate it with it as the setting. Um, it was laggy a bit at first, so I wanted to get like a smaller setting just for the animation. So... Um, So, basically, this here is the smaller setting. I, if I, if I turn, if you, you see if I toggle the visibility, it doesn't do anything. Basically, what I did was, um, because the main piece of the world was too, was too large, and it was, too, and it could lag the game a bit. Sorry, lag the game. <laughs> Sorry, lag the project. I just decided to not have the big one originally and just include a small one it's called beacon zone this was all that it was it was literally just the beacon zone that's what i animated with i imported a much bigger piece of the world um here as you can see later so that showed a bit of the city so it actually had some background so it didn't look like it was all like flatlands and stuff flatlands is a thing you do not want in, in mine in my animator um you can actually see a bit of them here but it wasn't in the render itself because i because I decreased like the because I like cropped it out so don't worry about that um, oops, I didn't mean to do that so yeah that's the map um, so then we have um, I'm just gonna go into so the lighting for lighting I had um, I have no idea what the Necrolord's doing here <laughs> He's just wonking out so for lighting I had a spotlight up here which casts a little bit of reddish tinted light and that kind of gave off a fiery impression. I think it looks pretty cool that way, if you render it. Um, and then in addition, I had a point light here that basically just followed the characters throughout the whole um, animation. I, I changed it a bit so that it didn't look too um, oddly consistent. I originally had it parented to the camera so that it would always just shine from where the camera's pointing, but I decided that's a bit lazy. And the light it might look better if I try to play with it more, so I just had it like teleport all over the place to light the scenes better. Consistent lighting is not really my concern. I just want to make it look decent. It lighting is already a deep, pretty big problem in my animator. You can't really do it as much as you can't really um, do lighting as well as you can in a professional software unless you try really hard. So, yeah, you want to make it kind of look decent. Um, that's the lighting. Um, now, okay, sorry. Um, now I'm actually going to the animation. I'm talking way too fast, you know? Okay, so, um, as you can see in the camera here, 
If you render this, it moves really slow. I'm not going to show you the rendered version because you can already watch that on YouTube. Kiyoshi doesn't even move for like the first 180 frames. Then he starts moving with his character motion. I decided to move the pupils a lot because I thought that would be cool. Then he kneels. Then he kneels. Uh, or no, he doesn't kneel. What am I talking about? He falls on his knees. It's not a kneel. <laughs> so this one, this is act. This was actually pretty simple. I just had two motions with the legs that moved like this. Now, um, let it be known, I am not very good at animated animating. Oh man, I hate my mouth today. I'm not very good at animating legs. I'm much better at animating the upper body, and I actually did not show legs a lot in this animation because I would have to animate them then, and it would just be a lot more work. But eventually, I'm gonna learn, so don't worry about that. Um, I'm I'm pretty happy with this one leg motion I had. It's not the only one. I'm just kidding. There's a few more. So yeah, then there would be a flashback here, but it doesn't show up in the main project since I edited that in after. I could actually go into the... I don't want to do this right now because I could actually go into the project for the flashback because it was, an, it was a separate project, the animated part. Um, and I would go and show you right now, but then it would take forever to load this back up again and I don't want to like waste your time. So um, nothing's relevant here for the next like 500 frames because this is just for the flashbacks that were edited in after. Edited in. I keep speaking so fast when I say that phrase. The necromancers just appear... The necromancers. The necromancers. The necromancers just appear here. Um, so that um, Kiyoshi can find them behind them. The, the idea was that they, that they all snuck up on him while he was concentrating and having flashbacks. So, no, they didn't just appear out of thin air. Don't worry. Uh, animation scenes get off my back. So, I'm pretty happy with... Uh, a couple times I showed the teeth in this animation, because I didn't want to just... Well, I didn't... Bleh, 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 bleh. I didn't want to just have, like, a blank mouth, because that seems a little bit... I mean, in Black Plasma Studios, it looks a bit better than it does in MI, so... Um, as a blank mouth, but that's in Blender. And I think it looks a bit better with teeth sometimes. Sometimes Black Plasma Studios does you know, use teeth, just very rarely. I'm pretty happy with this head turning around motion. And then the pupil movements again, which are pretty sophisticated. Sorry, sophisticated is not the right word, but they were pretty advanced. Then he gets up. This animation looks... Sorry, this this getting up animation looks awful from the leg perspective. <laughs> like, it does, it looks really wonky. But it's okay because... But really, it's fine, because, uh, well, I lost my train of thought for a second, but really, it's fine, because you don't see the legs here. And, uh, the necromancers were, like, had copied keyframes, so they just defaulted to this one. Um, that I did not intend for, but luckily, at some point, they all turned to their regular forms, so that works. Then there is this little overhead shot, where I had Kyoshi move around a little bit, so that it wouldn't look completely still. I had the necromancers move a bit in this shot as well, so they wouldn't be. So they wouldn't look completely still. Steel, steel, ah! And then you have Kyoshi showing the teeth once again. This mouth, this mouth looks a bit derpy. You can't actually make them look too big in Minimator Focus. You can make them look bleh without making them look weird. My mouth's weird in real life too, clearly. Then he goes and fetches his. Um, his halberd. I forgot what the weapon was called for a second. So if we go into, um, Kyoshi here, if we go into his character rig, then, actually, yeah, it is his right arm. Um, there, there should be a halberd. It says halberd 2 here. That shows. Then it generates like this. Um, the thing about I use them ease in and out back for this transition because it like because what it does is it kind of bounces and then bounces back a bit and it looks a bit more natural for items popping out of the inventory. It looks a bit better than like just a regular easing transition. Most of this is ease in and out. There's a few linears that here and there where they look good. 
Um, there's also the vignette applied to Kyoshi's face, which looks pretty nice when rendered. Um, I didn't have it when animating this, I just put it on after. And you see these shots of the Necromancers. I love this song, by the way. It's Destiny by Nefex. Really great song. And then you have the whole build up here, and you. So, this axe motion is a bit wonky. Because, yeah, he froze it like this. And then the axe goes brrrr. <laughs> and then. So, it stops right here. And then wonks out, and then goes in slow motion as he dodges in slow motion. Then the camera whips around to this necromancer, then it whips back, and then the necromancer dies. This part, I actually wish I could have animated a bit better because it doesn't really, there's not really much to this jump. It's just a little bit random. And a turn kind of feels weird in Kyoshi's, for Kyoshi's side of this animation. <laughs> that, that was really weird phrasing, but yeah, the turn seems a little bit weird. I think it could have been done better, but eh, it is what it is. Um, you can always learn from your mistakes, too. And this looks pretty okay, though. So, then you have this necromancer just bracing himself, because he doesn't have a weapon. <laughs> Kyoshi's beating up his comrades. I wanted to show Kyoshi is like, a really powerful character, even though he eventually loses and dies. So, this is where... This is where... Oh, my, one of my favorite parts of the animation is from here. This is my, actually my favorite part. Um, I did an interesting thing with the camera here. The jump is a little bit weird. Um, if you look at it from outside of camera view, he just goes up and then like that. There's no arc. It just doesn't, it doesn't look that bad from the camera, but it looks, it looks really unnatural if you play it like this. A good thing people won't see that. So the camera, I did an interesting with yeah, I did an interesting thing with the camera here. Um, I had an ease in and out transition where the field of view raised rose from 45 to 75 degrees. Then it jumped back immediately to 45, jarringly even. And then midway it also started fading to white, just as he brought down the halberd. And then and I think it instants to somewhere else. Yeah, it does. Uh, most camera transitions were instant, which means they just like switch after they hit a certain keyframe. So then Kyoshi gets up. You kind of see him relax from the camera. You can see the Necro Lord looking down and relaxing. This is kind of like an interesting reveal for the villain, just like chilling here. You can see him like surveying the situation. And he's like, "Oh man, you killed all my guys." I think he blinks here, but it didn't actually show it. Okay, yeah, it did. Um, I had the rig, the same rig for characters used for the Necrolord, except I got rid of a ton of features because they interfered with the skin a lot. And they looked really wonky. And basically, I also decomplexified. <laughs> what sort of word is that? Decomplexified. I got rid of the advancements. Sorry, the, the, <laughs> the extra things on the eyes. I um, just made them a solid color because they're like glowing and um, yeah, he's an Ardoni. That's the plot twist I was talking about. So that's how Ardoni eyes work. And I figure I might as well have just done that. And also it would have looked really weird from like this Dreadlord guy to have those, those, those black irises. Just like not glowing red eyes. So yeah, you can see him. I, I guess I like this like little red, oh, you can't see it in rendered mode, but yeah, there's a little red tint on this. So, interesting thing for the Necrolord Axe, I had to go into the Songs for Asset Pack and take it um, and use it. Um, the original Axe was designed by someone called Kronos007 or something. Um, um, thanks to him. Um, like A lot of the weapons were designed by fans. It had some semi-transparent pixels that MI actually made fully transparent, and it screwed with the texture, so I had to manually make all of them, all the pixels completely sol solid in the texture file, and save it, and then, and then import it so that it didn't have that glitch, and it took several tries. Boy, oh boy. So yeah, you have the Necrolord just looking down on the damage. He's like, oh man, I gotta get involved now. 
And then you then you get your own look at the damage. You kind of get to see what the Necrolord was seeing. Like, all of his comrades have been wiped out. You clearly... Maybe he underestimated Kiyoshi's strength. I, he probably did. Like, this guy is pretty strong. Then Kiyoshi breaks out of his anger, which is pretty temper. Goes to a sad state as he reminisces on the past again. The past. The past. <laughs> the past. Um, for a little shorter... For a little shorter of time? No. Bad grammar. For a shorter amount of time, there's another edit where, there's another edit sequence where there's a bunch of flashbacks and stuff. Um, I'm just going to skip past that. I'm going to go into the flashbacks once we get to the editing stage of this behind the scenes. Uh, at some point, I think it's like, what, uh, somewhere around here? Yeah. Um, then we see him come back to his senses, turn and notice the Necrolord is there. This face, it's priceless. It, this is priceless. Just, just look at this face, man. Just, 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 just look at this face. <laughs> just look at this face, man. <laughs> just look at this face. <laughs> I didn't even intend for this. Okay. So. Then you have, like, him looking down. He's like, that's right, it's me. Come at me, bro. His legs kind of bend a little bit, because I didn't want them to be completely still. Then, Kyoshi's movement's a bit wacky here, but I kind of like it. It's a bit snappy. Um, then, um, one thing I would say is a problem with this animation is the fact that he falls so quickly and then gets up so quickly. I had to do that because of time constraints, but then it kind of slows down as he... And as there's that shot of him. So it's kind of inconsistent, and it's a little weird looking. But, oh well. Then he gets up. Um, there's a bit of depth of field in the camera here. Mm, okay, I can't actually render this without it freezing. Come on, please. Render. Blech. Okay, I'm just going to have to do this. Yeah, there's a bit of depth of field, so you can't see Kyoshi. I didn't want to like animate him really well in this shot. So that was just my getaway. Yeah, I'm lazy. Then he has this character animation. It kind of whacks out here, but like, you can't see it. Then there's, another, there's a lot of depth of field here as well, which like, oh, that's a kind of a bra moment. You can't really see anything. I don't really like that shot. Um, I like this shot though, where the Necrolord spins around his axe menacingly, like he's ready for a fight. I love spinning weapons in Mind Mater. It's so easy, too. Then Kiyoshi draws out his two swords. And they're a bit, they're actually, the size of these swords has decreased a little bit. Um, this, they're only 0.75% of a full sword in terms of size. Um, I just thought they looked too big in default size for Mind Mater, so I just decided get rid of, sorry, not get rid of, um, D length it. <laughs> D size <laughs> and resize the swords a bit to be a bit smaller because they would look a bit better that way, at least in my opinion. And you have this close up of his face as he closes his eyes. Here's another flashback part, which I'm going to skip again. It's, it's really just a frozen shot of his face. Um, lighting changes a bit here. I prefer this, light this lighting to this lighting, actually. The lighting changed there because the Necrolord would have come and then interfered by casting shadows and it would have looked really bad, so I decided to move the light. Then, and then we have him opening his eyes at the second chorus. And I could have done, I originally wanted to do like proper fight choreography in this part, but I, I just didn't think I was ready for it yet. So I just had to do like, I didn't want to disappoint though, so I just kind of did like a half proper choreography. And... What I did in this case is had these slow motion shots of like singular actions. Like the Necrolord swinging his axe here, Kyoshi dodging the axe. Um, the Necrolord's pupils dilate a little bit, they shrink, it shows that he's a bit surprised. He actually underestimated Kyoshi a lot. And then Kyoshi's smiling because like he knows he's not as, he's a bit better than the Necrolord thought he would be. Um, then they whack out and go here and repose and repose themselves. For the next camera shot, um, there's a lot of wacky intermission animations that just, there's just all those movements that look really weird, but luckily you can't ever see them on the animations. Then you have Kyoshi delivering 
epic uppercut to this guy. I want to show Kiyoshi completely beating him up, because that would have been so satisfying. Um, so yeah, he completely clobbers the Necrolord here. And then he leaps, then he leaps, um, <laughs> I had these little cuts to black so that it would so that it wouldn't look like too sudden. It would imply there was a skip of time and like the battle has been going on. Um, this is an epic background. <laughs> so you could use this as your computer wallpaper. Um, for the motions in these slow motion shots, I just made them linear so they didn't start out slow or sorry, they didn't start out with easing because it would have looked weird if it was just like a slow motion shot where it would depict a motion that's already in progress. See, I had all those linear, where all the rest of the motions were all easing and out quadratic. Then you have Necrolor bracing himself as Kiyoshi um, bears down upon him with the two swords. He is not playing around, I'm telling you. And then they kind of, and he kind of like goes like this. Then Necrolor enters his karate pose. The Necrolor, now with Kung Fu action. <laughs> Forget the Phallus, it's the Necrolord now. So then, this shot seems to imply that he karate kicked Kiyoshi back. He maybe even hit him with the axe, which actually, I think, did happen in the script. He got, like, slashed. So then Kiyoshi goes back. He starts to get scared because he realizes he might not actually win. Um, then, you have this little Necrolord goes over there. Um, I once again had the light really close to him so that the Necrolord would not interfere by casting shadows. I just decreased the range of the light dramatically so that it didn't, so that it still seemed a bit, so that it didn't like cast light on everything, which I didn't want. I just wanted to illuminate his face, really. So then he has this little final movement. I really love playing with the pupil movements here. So anyway, so this this part's a bit lazy, Necrolord just like that. I'm I'm not really a fan of that, but eh. I do like the movements that Kiyoshi makes though. This movement here is just one final look of defiance, saying no, I will not submit. But then he realizes eh, he can't really. He 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 he's he is he cannot win. He will die. So he just. He accepts it, and he hopes that like his friends will his friends his friends his friends will avenge him. I hope that his friends will avenge him. I hope his friends will avenge him. Don't you? Okay, I haven't read the whole script, so I don't know. Um, then Necrolord raises his axe, and boom, he's dead. So yeah, I wanted like to cut off a bit dramatically. So yeah, that's about the end of the animation here. Another thing I forgot to mention when the when this, actually no, wrong necromancer, but I actually had him disabled, had the visibility on this necromancer disabled as during this shot because it would have interfered. But here, after this necromancer died, um, I had the ha a halberd parented to the head, just positioned there, showing that Kiyoshi had used the halberd to stab him. Can't get over karate kicking Necrolord, just like Chuck Norris roundhouse kick here. This guy was trained by Chuck Norris. So yeah, that's about all for animation, and um, after the animation ends, um, if we go to 5,500, 500, um, Necrolord jumps back for the thumbnail pose, which I decided to just do in the same in the same project. I then edited the thumbnail and PowerPoint so it looked a bit better. I can increase the contrast a bit. Um, I just I think these poses are pretty cool. I had, like I said, I, I just had another Kiyoshi. I actually have an, a separate. Uh, I have it in. I have a, a rig that's just Kiyoshi. It's a me object file. So yeah, that's as far as it goes for animation. And now I've got to move into like the actual editing. Actually, you know, what? I have to go over the animation in the flashback scene, and I also animated. Because that's the only thing in this video I did not animate in the same project. I'm just going to go and check that out, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back once I've opened that. Hey, hello again, guys. It's me back again, and I have the little flashback uh, that shows 
This, if you didn't get this in the video, it basically shows Kiyoshi actually gaining the rank of captain from the government. And, it sa and they mention his father because I'm assuming his father died in battle or uh, some some sort of heroic act that he killed that he, that he killed sorry that he died and like that's why Kiyoshi got the rank because his father had it and his father wasn't around anymore I figured so here we have this one's actually a really slow tempo um, it's uh, 15 um, 15 frames per second. Usually I do 25 frames per second, I just find it easier because then it matches up with these little things and it's a lot easier. There's a little bit of random movements on the two government officials. Um, if you render this, actually it, it freezes, but because there's depth of field applied, the movements don't look, they would look bad if I didn't have this, but you can't really tell. The movements look pretty okay if you have depth of field. And then Kiyoshi's movements look a bit better. I'm still not very proud of this. It, it could have been animated a lot better than it was, but this was like the first thing. I actually animated this before the main part. So this, I I I, I did use Wii I, in Wii video. I turned it. I turned it gray. Uh, I turned. I load. I killed the saturation. I I, I made it black and white. Um, I didn't do it in my animator. I, I don't even know if you can. I think you can, but I don't know. So, yeah, um, the officials do blink a couple times. I think they blink. I think they blink. That rhymes, I'm a poet. Um, let me get to the part where he actually gets up. And he smiles a bit. Again, I think this may have been, like, some of the... Eh, animation compared to the rest of the video. Could have been animated a lot better. But, eh, it is what it is. So, yeah. There we go. That's the that's the flashback. Not really much. I made it, like... I made the uh, time of day, like, all the sunset-ish here. Um, I changed the sky color to, like, orange from, like, the fire in the main one, and I had some smoke, or it's not smoke, but it is fog, and it kind of resembles smoke. You can't really see it all that well, but it does kind of obscure the edge of the map a bit, and I'm thankful for that. So that's all there is animation-wise. I'm going to move into the editing. Alright, guys, here we are in Wii Video, which is the thing I use to edit this. The video is kind of basic, but it was good enough to get the job done. So, I go over. I'm going to go over this. Um, first, we had this little disclaimer that I included, which I just reused. This, which is a render I made for the rig showcase thumbnail, it basically just shows me there. So yeah, hey guys, it was pretty Simon much here, useful. Creator of this animated music video. I actually scripted out this message a bit, so I didn't like lose my train of thought while I was saying it, because that happens all the time if I don't script it. It went through like several takes, by the way, I had these little voice bloopers, like I always do. I had so many um, in this as well. So then we had like this little, I added the cool transition that I thought was cool, and yeah, cool transition that I thought was cool. Good job. Um, it was basically like this little paper plane. And enjoy the show. So you, like that. I like that. That looked really cool. And then we had my logo here. Let me actually go into the. Let me actually go into the intro where it says "Animated by Poseidon Era Music by Netflix." Did I almost? I almost said Netflix. <laughs> okay. Um, there are a bit of weird shadows on his face, and they all look a bit wonky. Eh, I don't really like them, but it still looks pretty okay. And then we. Then he goes into this flashback here. I don't believe in destiny. I just do you can see, destiny. you can't really tell that they have enemies. these bad movements. Um, I'm going to turn this down a lot, actually. I'm going to turn... I'm going to turn the video down significantly. Because that's really loud. Jeez. Um, I'm turning down Chrome a lot.
All right, I skipped ahead of it. So then after we have the little flashback scene, we have like this little text. It's one of the officials saying this, does not matter which one. Up to your interpretation. Um, these way to protect this, can you miss your father before you? Wit to my dying breath. This this hangs on a little bit. Then we have these little flashbacks from Song Super Episode 8, where he like the, is in the training scene. This did a good job of setting up Yoshi as a powerful character as well in the actual series. The animation is so much better than mine, too. If I can ever animate that well, I'll, I'll be glad. So then we go back to the actual animation. And yeah. I'm just going to skip to the other edited parts because you've already seen all this animation. Just look how this all looks rendered. It looks a lot better rendered. And then you have like this fog in the background. You can see it kind of looks weird from this shot, but meh. And then you have more flashbacks. This one's from episode 9. Um, then you have episode 10. These are not mine. I did not animate these. I'm going to make it really clear. These were from Black Plasma Studios. These were from the official songs were episodes. I just included them. I edited them into the animation. So do not think I animated these. Do not give me credit for something I did not do. And all rights belong to them. All rights belong to Black Plasma Studios. I'm going to make that really clear. All right, thanks. Big credit to them. So then, yeah, we have Luke and Kyoshi there. Then Kyoshi snaps out of the trance, and then, yeah. Like this. Then I'm just gonna go to here. There we go. This looks really cool rendered. Then he closed his eyes, and he has another flashback moment. It just, it just includes every single flashback, just at hyperspeed. It's like his life is flashing before his eyes because he's about to die. Then you have like these little rendered shots that are just slow motion. I love how he uppercuts the Necrolord. I love that. <laughs> it's so great. There's something about seeing a project you made, like spent 10 days on, and you finally finish it and you get to see what it looks like as the final product, and it's really amazing. So yeah, you can see how I played with the lighting a bit there. I did have to change the light up a bit so that it didn't actually not, it actually didn't illuminate the Necrolord at first, so I had to vary the lighting for keyframes. So then we have the little credits. I'm going to go and explain some things in the credits. Um, that's my real name, obviously. It was created by me, based on Songs of War by Black Plasma Studios. Use it by Nefx, I already explained all this. And then it shows who did every part of the animation. Animation was mine, I did that. Lighting was mine, I did that. Um, rendering was also me. I did basically most of everything, it was just a one solo project. Maybe you were confused about this, rigging Poseidon Air Robbie Feed. Um, no, Robbie Feed, another at, at my mother, animator I know. Um, I don't know him, I know of him, I don't know him personally. No, he didn't help on this, he never, he didn't actually contribute to this project. But, the rig that I use is edited, is an edit of his rig, so I thought it would be fair if I credited him for rigging. So yeah, um, skin slash items, they're from the Songs War Asset Pack. Um, maps are from the Songs War Minecraft server, except for Kiyoshi's swords, which are just two default swords. Um, for, maps are from the Songs War Minecraft server. Flashback scenes were by me and Black Plasma Studios. I say both of us because the one here was, sorry, the one flashback here was mine. And the rest of them were from Black Plasma Studios. Then we go to um, editing, me, I edited it myself. Programs used, Mindmator, animation slash thumbnail, Minecraft scenery, video editing, PowerPoint, thumbnail. I basically rendered the thumbnail in Mindmator, then edited it. Yeah, my voice. I basically rendered the thumbnail in Mindmator, then I edited it a bit in PowerPoint. Edited it sounds so weird if you say it. So, so Say edited it, so say it like five times fast, I dare you. And then we have special thanks to Black Plasma Studios for making songs of work. Definitely big thanks to David RB, who is the director, who is like 
he was the one who fought with everything. Really good guy. I support him a lot. Um, Garrett, um, he's actually the voice actor for Kiyoshi in the series. That's why I credited him. Um, that's why I credited him. I mean, everyone who supports this channel, of course. Um, and thanks for watching. Yep. And I had, like, the music kind of fade out, out a bit. This was just the instrumental to Destiny. So, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'm will I will see you later. I actually recorded all this while the um while the music video was still premiering, so it was still hadn't premiered yet. The music video isn't even out by the time I'm recording this. It will be by the time it's uploaded because I don't want to spoil it first. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Woo. And uh, rip Kiyoshi.